Hey guys. Good morning. So it is about seven o'clock in the morning. And this morning I am by myself because my parents had to make an appointment out of state. They have to drive to Tennessee today and they should be back around nine or 10. But I have a lot of things planned for today. So I just thought I'd make another day of my life. I look kind of like a hot mess right now, but I'm about to go fix that and then do some morning stuff. I gotta do my opening morning shift since I'm the only one here, which is cut off the light in there and open all the shades. I remember having a dream last night that I opened my pants drawer and there was a rat in it. And then I like almost, almost touched it because I thought it was like a stuffed animal. And then I screamed because I realized it was real. Before they return, I'm gonna try to clean up the house a little bit. Cause it's kinda hard to do that when everyone's here and in the way. Here is the little glimpse of the sunrise. And you can see it in those windows over there, which is very, very pretty. So the sun's pretty much up all the way out here, but it's still super dark in the house. All right, ignore that. Jax is barking because the cat came to the door. Let's see what it looks like without the lamp. See, you can't even see me. I kind of like it, but then I kind of also don't like it, if you know what I mean, which you probably don't. And a thought just popped into my head, like, oh, I wonder if it's gloomy today, but the sun is barely up. Like, I don't know why I'm thinking that. The sky is pretty much full of clouds right now, but I checked the UV yesterday, and it's supposed to get 7 around noon, so I really wanted to tan. And even if the sky is full of clouds, if the UV is still high, you can still catch a tan. It's now 8 o'clock and I've done nothing the past hour, but look at my phone. But I have that Toby already. He was finna get in a brawl this morning. I was sitting in there in the living room and I kept hearing like a... And then I went outside and I saw Toby at the corner of the house and a cat like down the road a couple feet and they were finna square up I told him he better behave himself and i got him back and i fed him it's super early in the morning but i'm already like burning up so i opened my window which by the way just figured out yesterday that i could raise the screen so now i can stick my phone out here and get good pics of the sunset honestly it's kind of better lighting too because more light comes in and there's like a tent on the windows a little bit and the screen makes everything look all grainy. I want to put my phone on a selfie stick and see how far I can get it. I think to the corner of the house where the steps are at the porch. Not sure, might test that out in a hot, hot minute. I wanna make sure that I don't drop it. But I'm gonna turn the camera the other way so you can see right here we go. This thing is not like on tight enough. Hold on. All right. If someone was standing there, then I could definitely get a couple shots. Honestly, I think I'm gonna start using this to film my videos because doesn't this look better than like me holding it this close? But it like, this thing is super wobbly and I don't know why I gotta fix it. But yeah, well, maybe not that far. But this is so much better than me holding it like this all the time. This thing it just won't tighten though. I need to fix it. All right, now I'm gonna stick it out this way and see what it looks like. Not 
That's so funny. Mm, but I'm so scared of dropping it. Look at how like far it goes out. Why do we stop using selfie sticks? They make sense. Like they make sense if you want to get a big wide view. You know, like that's that is such a big difference. You can literally see my entire body. These were actually a really good invention. And whoever came up with it, genius. Enough rambling. I need to make up my bed, get my butt dressed, and get ready for the day and take the dog to go potty and give him some breakfast. And then I need to eat breakfast. Over here you can see the sun, but it still is dark. I think it's darker on camera than it is in person. But over here it's super dark. And it's calling for rain tomorrow, not today. So I'm gonna be really, really sad if it rains because I really, really wanted to Dan today. All right, so I made up my bed and now I'm gonna fill this for the day for the first time today. Not the only time. Also, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm literally already sweating like here and here and up here. I think it's because my room doesn't get a lot of ventilation in it so it's kind of it like stays the hottest also the heater kicked on a little bit ago and i have no idea why so right now i'm just making And I have some eggs cooking over here, and then we're done probably in 20 minutes. I'm gonna stay away from caffeine because not only is it bad for you, but I've been having super bad anxiety recently. And A, I don't know if I can mix it with my medicine, and B, it makes it worse. So I've had my breakfast. I wanted to come out here and see what it felt like. The dark clouds are gone pretty much. There's like barely any clouds. But as you can see, the wind is blowing right now. I wish it wasn't as cool as it is now, and I wish it was a little warmer than it was the other day. I wish it was as warm as it was the other day now, but it's also not the high point of the day, so you know, the wind is pretty strong right now. It's blowing my shirt in those trees over there. But it's not the high point of the day, so it might get warmer, so where I can actually come out and catch a good tan. And also, you know it's not the high point of the day because there's still shadow over the porch. So I can't really do that right now even if I wanted. I mean, it's only 10 a.m. But I think I'm going to go back inside, clean up the house a little bit, and then see where the rest of the day takes me. I am about to change this entire board. This stuff is not bringing me happiness anymore i feel like it's definitely time for a change so i'm going to take everything down and not put back probably 90 percent of the things that are on here i got my photo albums ready i need to get this what is this called a scrapbook it's just got random stuff on it like that's from a birthday cake i had when i was like 15 so actually i might put that on there it's a, from the movie it and I'm thinking about it, and I haven't updated this maybe in two years, maybe right before I graduated high school, I added some new photos, but I completely want to take this down and redo it too, but I cannot do that today because I do not have photos that I want to use to replace this with. That's what I'm going to be doing for probably the next two hours. It's 11 o'clock right now. So I will update you when I finish the board. This, product. this side is literally not different at all, except for those type up here. But it's less cluttered and I like it a whole lot better. This is the first bikini that I have. I love these pants so much. Or bikini, bikini bottoms, not pants. But I really like this top too. 
but it kind of hurts like this part back here but this one is super cute i love it of course i had to buy the pieces separately even the ones that go together you have to buy separately but because of this and this it would give me the weirdest tan line so i'm gonna keep this one obviously but the next time i go out to walmart i am going to buy a new top to go with these super cute bottoms these are my favorite bottoms ever i like high waisted stuff and they're black and brown and white and they're just cute i love it time to tan i got my bathing suit on i got the towel on the ground i mean it's knocked out it's a blanket and i have a book and some essentials and the wind is blowing. The UV is 8 right now, so it's perfect to tan, but the wind is blowing, so it feels so good. I've been outside for like 30 minutes because I started to get sunburned on my arms, so I don't want to get sunburned. So I'm going to take a shower and wash this off, and then do it again tomorrow. So I got out of the shower, put some serum in my hair, and I put some more moisturizer back on. Because it's 2 o'clock. It's 2.19. And right now I'm going to clean my phone. Because it's just greasy from that stuff. And put up. Whatever all of this is. And I was going to read when I was out there. But I did not even get past the first page. So I'm going to try and read some later on. It is almost 8 o'clock. I've basically done nothing. But be on my phone. Play games. And now I'm in bed clearly drinking chocolate milk and i'm playing mario kart on the ds but i'm so happy that it's almost eight o'clock like it's literally but it's almost eight o'clock because it's so light outside but anyways it's already took my shower i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna put on my night clothes wash my face brush my teeth and get ready for bed and i'll probably end the night with friends I technically did not make an end to that video, but I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. I fell asleep watching Friends last night, and that's basically all that I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you wanna see. If you like these Stay in the Lives, I filmed three so far. This is my third one, and they're all different pretty much. And I think the one that I wanna do next is Stay in the Life of an Author. Because I am an author, I do a lot of things with my day. Sometimes I do nothing, but I have different skills and hobbies and want to share more of that with you. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you check out all my other videos and don't miss the next one. Bye.